Today on Xeno to the Nun, an interesting tale about how technology affects technology. And the strange thing about this is it has made a fake product look deliberately wrong. So a while ago I got one of the fake UVC LED lamps off of eBay. This is one of the corn cob styles. We can see all the LEDs on the aluminum heat sink. And of course these do not produce any UV at all. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but the LEDs that produce UVC light are not only very expensive, but they're also quite inefficient. So a lot of these fakes use LEDs, which are commonly known as ice blue LEDs. And they produce a pretty nice pastel green blue color. Let's take a look at that. So here's a string I have connected to a power supply. Quite a nice color. And that color is the reason why I bought this light in the first place. Now I'm going to put this over to the side and we are going to compare how these LEDs look next to a real UVC lamp. So I have here a lamp that uses mercury vapor. So inside we have uh, some mercury and what happens is, is when the mercury is excited it produces UVC light. And the frequency is about 254 nanometers, which is in the UVC range. You can see there, dermatidal bulb and uh, protect eyes from rays. Now the reason why this is particularly dangerous is because it produces ionizing radiation, which can cause cellular damage. And what the, that means is there's enough energy in there to knock electrons off the atoms and cause damage that way. So, very hard on the eyes and uh, it can cause cancer. So let's hook this bulb up and enter the danger zone. To help with that, I have a high voltage power supply, which was pulled from a toner printer, I believe. And what this did is it charged up different parts in the printer so the toner would stick in the right places. At least that's what I think it did. I am no printer expert. So hook it up. By the way, these are great power supplies if you want to play with high voltage. They take about 24 volts to run and produce 5 kV ish about in both DC and AC. Now for this particular setup, I'm going to use the AC side. Here, just like that. Perfect. For this comparison, I'm going to make this string of LEDs dimmer, taking the alligator clip off the resistors. And uh, you can see a little bit of light there, but it won't be as bright. And that's just to help with how the camera sees it. So it's going to go there. And uh, I'm going to turn off the shop light. We can see how they look. Off like that. And I will turn on the bulb and we can see the output of that. And uh, on camera, it looks to be a blue teal kind of color. Now that's the color they're trying to mimic. But in real life, the bulbs don't look like this. They're a purpley gray kind of color. And if you're not familiar with what a real UVC lamp looks like, then you won't know that the LED color is wrong. Now the reason why I want to show you this bulb is so you're familiar with the color that this produces on camera. I'm going to use a smaller UVC lamp. I get this all out of the way. Move that to the side. And the little light that I picked up is this. It's a pretty nice light for about 10 bucks and it does produce UVC. It's the same 254 nanometer range. But the upside is it's not as bright and therefore just a little safer. Now the construction of these lights are as such as they're a mercury vapor and they're encapsulated in a quartz glass. That's because the UVC does not go through regular glass very well. Now we can actually see the little balls of uh, liquid mercury in there. Oh, there's a lens. See if we can point that out. 
Yeah, right there. You can see there's a little ball of mercury. And the lamp. So let's do some tests because that's what I love about science. I'm going to turn off the shop lights once again. Come on. There you go. Once again, it's the same color as we saw on the other bulb. And as I said, this color is incorrect. Now, the interesting thing is that if you're not used to seeing what these things look like, as I said before, this is the color that you're used to because this is what you see on most pictures. In fact, I've tried a couple of cameras and all of them show about the same results, which is interesting. I'm going to throw those pictures up now. All right, now that you've seen those pictures, here's a picture that I have altered to look the correct color. So that way you understand exactly what these lights are supposed to look like in person. Not that you're supposed to be looking at them. Now that you know what they look like, let's do a few experiments. Now the interesting thing about these lights is that they work in a very similar way that Things like uh, cold cathode and compact fluorescent lights work, which are these little discharge tubes like this. And they're also a mercury vapor based light, but instead of having a quartz glass on the outside, they're just a regular glass, which does help in blocking UVC. But the inside is coated with a phosphor that converts over the UV light into a white light. So we'll see how that looks like that cute little lamp I'm going to turn off the shop light here so this was pulled out of an old camcorder LCD this was a backlight I think it's adorable and uh, shows how these little lamps work now, of course, being the optical light scientist person that I am, I have things to show you. So, I have some of the white phosphor, red phosphor, green phosphors, and blue phosphors. Now, in a previous video where I talked about the 355 nanometer laser, I had thought that my phosphors just didn't work very well. Well, that's actually not the case. The, the interesting thing is these really work on a very low frequency of ultraviolet. So 355 nanometers was not quite enough to excite them. And 254 nanometers works very well with this. The other thing is these are in regular glass and don't transmit UV very well. Let me show you that. We have a little test strip here. We'll be using that in a little bit. I'm going to put that there. Get out the UVC light and turn that on. Once again, I'm going to turn off the light. And uh, here we have it. So here's uh, the white. Which uh, you see a little bit of glow on there. Not very much. And the red does not much. In fact, that just may be uh, the reflection of the light. The green. And then the blue. They all kind of look identical. And uh, that's because the ultraviolet light isn't actually getting to the phosphors. So what does this LED do? It doesn't do very much. Once again, the white, no real change there. Yeah, they just uh, look about the same. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of each one of those phosphors on this black strip. We're going to perform that same test over again. Let's see if there's any ultraviolet radiation coming off of the fake UVC little LEDs and then the UVC lamp. And that'll be just a quick, simple process of putting a little bit of the phosphors on here with the first screwdriver that looks like it'll do the job, which will be a flathead, just like that. So let's start with the white phosphor, which is the same phosphor, and once again does the conversion from the UVC to the white. The red, green, and blue phosphors in the other bottles are from CRT TV. And uh, the CRTs that are in a rear projection TV, so a very good source of the individual phosphor colors. A little bit right there. Yeah, focus a little bit on that. I'll wash the tip off. Always wash the tip off. The red phosphor. Good time to uh, relabel that bottle. Just like that. green phosphor and uh, this was the one that uh, really didn't do very much on a laser video that's about to change in this one The blue phosphor. All right. So let's see what they do. Uh, experiments and make videos a lot more interesting and nod yes I'll telepathically receive your receive your uh, nod of approval so here we have those different phosphors on this piece of black plastic uh, that's uh, white red green blue see what they do underneath the lights now we're gonna go over I'm gonna grab this Turn off the shop lights. And here we go. Focus. Not the right focus. There we go. A fake UVC LEDs. And yeah, nothing. Not a reaction at all. So what do these actually do underneath the proper wavelength? Only one way to tell. Would you look at that? Yeah, it's very, very clearly white, red, green, and blue. So yeah, that was a pretty short video, but I just thought it was really interesting to see that uh, the LEDs that are used um, are the wrong color. And I think that's because cameras can't see the UVC in the correct 
uh, the correct way that we see it. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, stay tuned for more.